This is a U.S. Cutter MH MK2. We've had it for maybe four years now, and it's great. We use it for all kinds of things, and it really does a good job at whatever it's doing. So in this video, I'll go through the setup of how to use it and to start printing. We're going to print this squid onto a piece of black vinyl. Whenever this is going to print your item, it's going to print it from the bottom right corner. So I want it to print right here. So I'm gonna set the origin right there. So I'll just line it up with the rollers. And then whatever you do, don't lock this last roller right here. This one doesn't roll with the rollers that move the vinyl back and forth and that's gonna really cause your print to skew and fail. Never lock that one, only use these two rollers. We'll loosen up this thumb screw and lift up the blade just to make sure it's not touching on the vinyl and then we can run an air pass. Once you get this to the point that you want it, click the origin button right here and that'll set the origin of the print to that corner. Now we'll click the cut button up here at the top of the toolbar. Click cut now at the bottom and then it'll ask you to confirm one more time and then click proceed with cutting and it'll go ahead and start. We raise the blade, this is just cutting in the air to make sure that everything is cutting where we want it to. Now we'll lower the blade, so this will be our actual cutting pass. Then do the exact same thing, just go ahead and run the cut, and it'll start. You can actually see it cutting in the vinyl. These arms here are pretty thin, so it started to peel them back a little bit, though I think we'll be able to salvage this. And we'll just trim out this piece. This is called application tape, and it's basically like a big roll of masking tape for applying the cut vinyl onto whatever object you're applying it to. Now we're pulling the pieces that we cut off of the vinyl here, and you gotta find where the cuts were made and then peel it up onto the application tape. Here's the top of the squid coming off. Sometimes you may need to switch angles so you can get it up on the tape a little easier. This can definitely be a pretty tedious process. Before it goes on to the object, I need to straighten up this little tentacle here. You don't want to touch the sticky back of the vinyl, so whenever you're doing this, you have to do everything you can with the knife. Even though this process is very tedious getting it off, this is definitely my least favorite part, is applying it and getting it straight. We're putting it onto the back of this phone, and at least we have some straight lines here to try to line it up, which does definitely make it easier, but if you get it a little bit cockeyed, you can't fix it. You just have to make a new one. You can't really peel it off without it stretching and breaking. I'm gonna trim this out a little bit so I have a better view of the phone. You can use some clear stuff to make this easier or you could just use contact paper. Now when we apply this, we don't wanna put it in any way that it's gonna cause a wrinkle in the middle so you wanna push from one side to the other. Whenever you pull this off, just make sure it's a sharp angle, and then sometimes I still need to use the knife to make sure everything stays down. Looking good so far. and make sure everything is pushed down. If you're wondering what that whining is in the background, it's a Mandalorian helmet. That looks really nice. I was able to get everything straight. The only thing that I would have changed is bringing up a little bit, but sometimes you just gotta work with what ended up happening. And that's how you use this US cutter, vinyl cutter, to do some pretty cool projects.